Hello and welcome to Cities Inn. I'm your host today, Deadline, and we're going to be showing you how to put together a Commodore 64 if somebody gives you a motherboard. So today we've got a special Commodore video for everyone. It is a Commodore 64 that was given to us by Adrian from Adrian's Digital Basement. So it's very special. I went out and got a case for it and a new keyboard and I got the Kickstarter keys and also a back bit because there's no sit in there so we're gonna we're about to show you what we got and then start putting it together City man. Okay, so first off, we got the a new keyboard from Retro 8-Bit Shop on Etsy. Let's see what we got. So we got the keyboard. It's wrapped in plastic wrap. And there's some, looks like gum in there huh? from the Retro 8-Bit Shop. Oh, yeah, so, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's got a Commodore 64 thing on the back. Mm. Not too bad. It's like a spearminty kind of thing. Well, keyboard got here and it's all in one piece, so can't really complain. So the first thing we got here, we're gonna do is put these keys on, take these keys off, and put these uh, Kickstarter keys. Or right, was it Indiegogo? I can't remember. I'll put a link down in the description. I think they're gonna be selling these because they've got the first production run done and I think he's got some extra ones I could be very wrong about that okay pretty nice so far so there they are there's some new keys we're gonna convert this into having these on there it's a stamp so I can't find my key puller so we're gonna try this with the screwdriver method the slide yep pretty easy be careful with these springs make sure you set them to the right place I'm gonna do these one by one which means I'm gonna to have to set up all these keys to the top so I can see them so I'm not gonna bore you with that um, which is the up and down cursor key. That's right there, I've already found it too. Cool, they fit. So, I'll get back with you after we're done. So there we go, it's done. All the keys, well not all of them, I chose to do a color scheme on this one. So, everything's in there. Good, now we're gonna take a look at what else we got in there. Of course, I had to get a new case because all we got was the motherboard. And we're gonna find out why this motherboard is so special here. Just hang on a sec. But we're gonna open up this case first. And inside of here is the housing, which is in, it came, the thing came from uh, individual computers. I'll link it in the uh, description. <clears throat> but yeah, we got, I chose the SX64 color scheme for this one. Just go. Everything else. Yeah. I'll put this aside for now. And let's see. We got the screws. Phillips head. I don't know. They wrapped it with some form of velcro here. 
Mm. Nicely done. Nicely done. So there we go. We got that apart. That's a little instruction manual. Wait a minute. It doesn't have an LED, it appears. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get an LED from somewhere. So, there we go. I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Now we're gonna take a look at what the keyboard will look like inside of here. Although, it looks pretty good. Not your typical Commodore 64. So yeah, I have these. This will go, I believe it goes on that side. Yeah. And this goes down here on this side. And it'll snap in. Yep, pretty much like that. So there it is, preliminary look at it. Now, for this motherboard, it's a very special motherboard. It was given to us by Adrian from Adrian's Digital Basement and he signed it for us. To Seth, it freaking works, Adrian. Isn't that so awesome? Okay. So, the only key bats are didn't have a seed chip and uh, it's just a motherboard but it freaking works thank you thank you Adrian so now what we're gonna do is grab the back bit SID solution Let's stick that in okay in there it'll be like a brand new SID and I believe we can choose between 6581 and 8580 through the program yeah cool it's in there I'm somewhat of a Commodore 64 professional repair person myself back seed. So we're just going to try that out. It'd be awesome. And uh, there's more information on this sticker. So if you want to go there and get your own back seed, tell them deadline from City Zoom sent me. Don't know what it'll get you, but just tell them. So before I could do anything else, I had to take off the plate that was on the side of the bread bin motherboard, which is not compatible with the C64C cases. And also I had to print out a new keyboard bracket because the other one was for the short board and this is actually a long board, which I was able to find on Thingiverse. After that, I screwed down the rest of the motherboard with the other screws. Once the motherboard was secured, I could now put the keyboard in place. Then I had to craft a LED to go into the housing. Luckily, I had the parts on hand. Now it's time to turn it on and let's see if it works. And it does. And the best way that I can think of doing this is to run our world famous City Zen 256 demo called Zenza Zenza Zenic. And it works. City 
So there it is, the Commodore 64 that we got from Adrian, from Adrian's Digital Basement. That is such an awesome gift. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I look forward to um, a good year here. 2024 is going to be awesome for us here at Cities Inn. We're going to be uh, creating a whole bunch of new content. This is just the beginning. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit like, and all that kind of jazz, and the notification bell, all that stuff. Also, if you're working on a Commodore project, let us know in the comments. City Zen is made possible in part by donations from viewers like you. If you like our content and want to make big problems for Miss Doss, please consider becoming a patron and help us to bring you higher quality retro entertainment and to restock the salsa and upgrade the primitive infrastructure here at City Zen. Become the hero the world needs, and we will add you to the hero list. City Zen Patron Heroes. Sutek. Full of Hope. Petzel. Create Invent Podcast. 8-Bit Show and Tell. Jixies and Sky Zixon. Bit Barn. Thank you. Long live 8-Bit Machines. We will not go quietly into the night.